Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Windows Forms. Now, I'm sure you all have been waiting a really long time for the Windows Forms tutorial. And uh, I felt it was better to start from the console level so that all of the code generated, generated by the Windows Forms applications project wouldn't confuse you. So, and from now on, we're going to make all of our applications with Windows Forms. No more console stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a new project. Make sure you select Windows Forms application. And then we'll just come down here and we will name it Hello World Forms. Now we're just going to click OK and let it load our project. Now you can see here that it pops open this window right here and you can see it from the tab up here that it's called form1.vb and it has the brackets here that says design now basically what this does is it shows what our form1 is going to look like and the dot .vb is just the file that holds all the code for this um, form1 and the, the code that we're going to be adding to it there's another file that holds the um, designer for it now basically what Visual Basic does is when you add uh, stuff to your window or resize the window it automatically generates code in a designer file that creates the buttons or the list or whatever you want and it adds them to your form and it puts them in the correct place and sets them to the size that you did all from you just dragging and dropping um, items onto your form and resizing them in, and or resizing your form so um, let's go ahead and we'll come up here and we'll just click the toolbox right here and if you don't see that right there, just go ahead and press Control alt x and it's going to open up our toolbox. Now you can see here that we've got a bunch of tools that we can use. We're just going to go ahead and use a button for this tutorial. Let's resize the form a bit. And we will just change this, the text value of this button to say hello you can see here that the buttons text is changed to say hello now whenever you're making a windows forms application or any application that's going to use buttons or lists or labels and stuff you want to come over here to your properties and set a good name for your button or item or whatever it is so if you scroll up here you'll see that we have a name value now you never want to leave this as button one because that could confuse you later on when you're making the program bigger and adding more code to it. You'll be like, hmm, what's button one? Where, where is it? What does it say? What does it do? So we're just going to change the text value of this to button, uh, not the text value, the name of this, to button say hello. So whenever we access this button from our code, we'll know what it is and what it does. So to access the code for our form one, we can just go ahead and du double click on form one and you can see here let me close out of the toolbox that it creates a sub right here for us that is the form one load so whenever the form one is open and it has loaded then go ahead and do what's inside of this sub now you can see there's a bunch of stuff here um, you probably don't understand that uh, I don't expect you to understand that yet but we'll be covering that later on um, for now we're not going to deal with the form one load we're going to come back to our design and we're going to double click on say hello and you can see here that it generates the uh, sub that will run whenever somebody clicks this button so when they click this whatever code is in here is going to be run so we're going to start off by typing message box now you can see here that IntelliSense pops up and it says displays a message box that can contain text buttons and symbols that inform and instruct the user so we're just going to type messagebox.show and we're going to use the messagebox.show that uses two arguments in the parameters. The first argument is the text that's going to be displayed in the message box and then the second argument is going to be the caption or whatever is at the top of the text box. So like here's our form one. If the message box looked like this, the caption would be right there that says form one. So we'll just do messagebox.show hello world and then we'll just change the title to um, let's just do on live gamer 
Okay, so now if we run this, you can see that a window pops up right here. And this is our uh, form one. You can see that I didn't change the title or the icon. Now if we go ahead and click say hello, it's going to pop up a message box that has on live gamer as the title because that's what we set and it has hello world as the message. Now whenever you create a message box, it's just going to create a window like this and the default button to show is OK. Now later on we'll be learning how to add uh, different buttons into there and how to get the input that they put. So let's say they click, we give them an option to click OK, retry or cancel. We can get what they put in there and then do some code according to what they clicked. So um, congratulations, that's your first Windows Forms application. Um, you can go ahead and mess around with forms and the code in there. Uh, I encourage you to. You can learn a lot by yourself. And uh, once you got familiar with the message box show and adding stuff to your form and changing the size and doing other sorts of things to your form, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.